When we took office, we quickly found out that we needed to take urgent action to fix ICBC. We needed to stop the bleeding. And so we did. We brought in significant changes like expanding the role of the Independent Civil Resolution Tribunal to help resolve motor vehicle accident claims under $50,000, and we limited growing pay payouts for minor injuries. We're also actively engaged in getting expert witness costs and litigation costs under control with amendments to our Provincial Evidence Act. And though we have had setbacks, our successes have outnumbered them. We're getting ICBC back in the black. For drivers, this means that the basic rate change next year will be held at 0%. Most drivers in the province will see rate changes at or below the rate of inflation, even when buying optional insurance. In addition, ICBC is projecting a modest surplus for fiscal 2020. With surpluses in the foreseeable future for ICBC, especially with the changes coming in the spring of 2021 to a care-based model, a care-based model which will also reduce costs for drivers by $400 and increase benefits, it suddenly, and a bit unexpectedly for many, raises the question of how surpluses should be treated in order to avoid, avoid finding ourselves in a crisis again in the future. I believe we need to do all we can to prevent future government from diverting surpluses away from ICBC. The previous government treated ICBC like an ATM, year after year taking a total of $1.2 billion of optional capital out of the corporation. I was raising concerns about this conduct on Red FM with host Harjinder Thind, when Mr. Thin said in response to my concerns, and I'm paraphrasing, if you and the NDP think what the previous government did is so wrong, why don't you pass a law to try to stop any future governments from doing that in the future? I have told British Columbians that all ideas for reforming our Crown corporations are welcome and will be taken seriously. Mr. Thin's suggestion is a good example of that. Now, I don't know if the idea originated with him, but I am grateful to him for bringing the idea to my attention, and I will give credit where credit is due because later this week our government will be introducing legislation that will prevent this government and any future government from taking surplus optional capital out of ICBC. Because car insurance premiums should go towards benefiting the drivers paying the premiums. By taking this step, we are helping ensure that premiums remain affordable in the future, where we hope and reasonably believe surpluses at ICBC are not only possible, but likely. When optional capital surpluses stay in ICBC, that money is invested. The return on that invested capital helps ICBC's bottom line and is passed on to drivers in the form of reduced rates. When that money is taken out of ICBC, as the previous government did, there is no investment return, so there is less opportunity to take the pressure off of drivers. That $1.2 billion at 5% interest would have been sufficient to provide $60 million each and every year to reduce basic rate costs. That's the equivalent of a 2% basic rate increase caused by the previous government taking that capital. It shouldn't happen again. And thanks to this proposed law, it would require a future government to get a majority of MLAs to agree that it should be able to take optional capital out of ICBC again. Now that's possible in theory, but I would say near impossible in the present time and unlikely in the long term especially given British Columbia's current awareness of the importance of financial stability at ICBC and the relation of financial stability at ICBC to their car insurance rates. There's a lot that our government has achieved so far. We're going from an ICBC that was losing a billion dollars a year to an ICBC projected to run a surplus next year and deliver a significant rate decrease for drivers in 2021. My commitment to drivers is that any benefits from our significant reforms will stay with drivers. If this bill passes, the law will now reflect that basic principle as it should.